Hey guys, Matt from Eastwood. We're here in my home garage, and today what we're gonna talk about is my top five Eastwood tools that you need to outfit your shop. What I'm gonna show you is the tools that I use just about every single day and why I choose them in my shop. So let's get started. All right, so my number one tool on my top five for outfitting your shop has to be the Eastwood Elite Shrinker Stretcher. Now, I love this Shrinker Stretcher because it is so darn strong. You're able to do up to 16 gauge steel in both stretching or shrinking, and I use it for that all the time. The other nice thing about this is that it comes with an optional pedestal with a foot pedal that allows you to do large parts by yourself without having to have a helper to actually move the handle for you while you're doing those large parts. And the last thing that is my favorite about this product is what you just saw. You're able to roll it around with the pedestal because it is on wheels and you can tuck it out of the way. When I'm not doing sheet metal fabrication, I keep a lot of my Eastwood uh, fab tools all in a center area so that they're not underfoot and leaves me the most amount of uh, floor space as possible. So that's why this is my number one. All right, so number two on my top five Eastwood tools to outfit your shop with would have to be the Eastwood motorized bead roller. Now this bead roller is a beast. It's 24 inches of throat depth that allows you to get into the center of a four foot panel, allowing you to do large panels like trunk lids, roof sections, different things like that, which makes it really nice. Now the other thing that I really like about this machine, obviously it has a motor on the back of it that allows you to work alone and do higher quality work, but it also has a pedal that is infinitely adjustable. So what that means is it works much like it would on a TIG welder or on the gas pedal on your car. If you want more, you push the pedal down more. So in this case, if you want to speed up, you simply just push the pedal down. You can go faster or let off to go slower. Why I find that helpful is when I'm doing panels that have curves and long straightaways, we can speed up in the straightaway areas and slow down in the curves to make sure that we can stay right on our line. Lastly, the pedestal that comes with the bead roller makes it really nice that you can have a nice sturdy stand that you can bead roll without having to try and mount it in a vise or make a homemade stand. Now I do keep my stand and bead roller kind of tucked away in a corner when I'm not using it to get the most of my floor space, but all you need to do is just simply swing it or walk it because it is heavy, but not heavy enough that one person can't just walk it out of the way when it's not in use. Because of that, that makes this my number two of my top five. All right, number three on my top five most essential tools to outfit your garage is the number one most underappreciated tool on the list. We are in a dark back corner of my shop where I keep my Eastwood Elite QST 3060 scroll compressor. This compressor is tucked away in the back corner and just hums away quietly while I work and it runs pretty much any tool and does anything I ask of it. I'm able to run everything from my blast cabinet to a paint gun to all my air tools to cutting tools and everything in between and it has no problems at all. It has 12.7 CFM at 90 PSI, again it can handle pretty much all the air tools and it runs at such a low sound level that I possibly say I'm more excited about that than the performance. I'm able to work in my shop, run my air tools, listen to my music, actually hear the music while the air compressor sits in the corner and hums away quietly. Because of that, that definitely makes it my number three item on my most essential items to outfit your shop. All right, so number four on my top five list is a tool that I probably had for the shortest amount of time out of all the tools on the list. That is the Eastwood Rim Clamp Tire Machine. I don't know how I lived without this machine before because it was always a pain in the butt to take wheels and tires to have them removed or installed. Me personally, with messing with a lot of the antique vehicles, pretty much every time I get a set of wheels and tires, I have to remove some old, junky bias ply tires, and it gets to be quite expensive if I have to take them to a shop, pay them to remove the tires, and then also pay to dispose of the tires. So now I can do that all in my time, save some money, and I don't have to ask someone else to do it at their shop. Now the rim clamp has a bead breaker on the side that allows you to break the beads and get the tire all set up. You can throw it on the rotating table and clamp it down to up to 21 inch wheels on the inside clamping method and up to 16 inches wide. 
This is really great because it fits the majority of the vehicles that you may need to remove tires and definitely will cover pretty much any classic car wheel and tire combo that you might have to mess with. This rim clamp tire changer also is really nice because if you use your vehicle for dual duty where you may take it to a show and shine one weekend on street tires and maybe take it to a track event the next weekend, you can switch the tires around on your time. Say the night before the race, you can do it on your time, swap it on, you're ready to go without having to wait for the tire shop to open up. Now one little tip that I use for my tire changer because floor space is always at a premium in my shop is I left my tire changer on the pallet that it came with bolted down and I got myself a cheap second hand pallet jack that I actually use to wheel the tire machine out, put it in the center of the shop, do my work and then I can roll it back in the corner and I put mine right in the corner in front of my blast cabinet so that it's out of the way and doesn't take up any more space in the shop that's always at a premium. So that's why this is my number four item on my top five list. All right, so last but definitely not least is my number five pick for my list of tools you need to outfit your shop. Now I'm gonna cheat a little bit, give me some slack. I'm gonna to group together all of my Eastwood welders and plasma cutter as my last pick. Now I couldn't do what I do in my shop working on these antique cars that are usually really rusty and almost ready for the scrapyard without having a good dependable set of welders and plasma cutter. Now the setup that I run in my shop just about every single day is number one, my Eastwood TIG 200 digital welder. Now I love this welder because it functions and welds like a welder that is like three to four times the cost and it is just super, super nice. Now it has a digital readout with programmable functions which allows me to pretty much control every aspect of the TIG weld and really helps you when doing some higher end stuff or when you're doing intricate work like really thin gauge sheet metal. Now underneath of it I keep my VersaCut 60 plasma cutter. This plasma cutter runs off 220 and is rated up to 7 8 inch thick cuts in single pass. Now don't tell anybody, but I've actually done one inch thick and this thing always does what I ask of it without any problems and I'm always impressed with the power that it has out of such a small little plasma cutter. Now the last item here is kind of like my tried and true workhorse. I have my Eastwood MiG-175 welder that just goes and goes and goes. I've had this welder for a ton of time and I've run probably like, I don't know, a thousand miles of, probably not, but I've run a ton of wire through this thing and run through tons of consumables and it has done everything from sheet metal work to heavier fabrication to just fixing stuff around my house and shop like my tractor and it just, it just works awesome and I always know that when I pick it up I'm going to lay down a nice bead with this. So that's why this is my number five top items to outfit your shop. All right, so there you have it. That's my top five list of tools you need to outfit your shop. And these are probably the tools that save me the most time and get used the most often in my shop. If you wanna learn about any of the tools that you saw in this video, you can click the link down below or you can visit eastwood.com to get all the tools you need to do the job right. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later.